Right now, the man accused of shooting a Daytona Beach police officer is getting ready to appear in a Volusia County courtroom. Otha Wallace faces a charge of attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. He was transferred from Georgia early this morning. News 6's Molly Reed joins us live with more on that extradition process. Molly. Well, Bridget, in about an hour and a half, they will have that appearance here at the jail. For the last week, he's been held in the county where he was found up in Georgia until the Volusia County Sheriff's Office could bring him back down here this morning. They actually sent us some video of that process. Now, the Sheriff's Office worked with several other offices here in Florida to fly him down. Video showing he was in a secure plane once he landed. Sheriff Mike Chitwood and several deputies were there waiting. Now, Chitwood says there were no incidents or issues with Wallace during this process. Now, again, police say Wallace was found in DeKalb County, Georgia, just northeast of Atlanta, hiding in a treehouse last Saturday after a 56-hour-long manhunt. Police say he shot Officer Jason Rayner in the head last Wednesday night when Rayner was responding to a suspicious incident. Wallace is facing a couple of charges now, including that attempted murder of a law enforcement officer one. Uh, the FBI also says he could be facing some federal charges. Now, we've also been checking in with Daytona Beach Police on the status updates of Officer Rayner. The last update they gave us is that he's still in critical condition in the hospital, but he is progressing slowly. Again, we will be seeing Wallace here in court at 1.30 in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. I'm Molly Reed getting results. News 6.